Hello Wolfpack, a fresh video here today. Now before I get into it, go ahead and check out Mega Whale Crypto's YouTube channel. I've just posted or he's just posted uh, kind of like a featured video with me in the video. We're discussing Bitcoin over at that channel there. So Mega Whale Crypto, go check it out. I'm in his recent video. Go and show some support for him and go watch the content that we posted over there together. Regardless of that, we're getting into a fresh video here today. And this video is you should not be buying long-term hold altcoins until the halving in 2024 okay i don't agree with it i don't think buying altcoins at the bitcoin bottom is worth your time i don't think buying altcoins now is worth your time i don't think buying altcoins in six months is worth your time i think the only time it is profitable from a risk reward ratio right it can be it can be profitable but good a good risk reward ratio is at the halving i'm going to tell you exactly why in this video i encourage you to hear me out before you make uh, your own assumptions about what i'm going to say so the halving on Bitcoin happens every four years, and historically it's happened about 18 months after the bottom, okay? So for example, the bottom in 2015 was in around January 2015 here, right? And we saw the halving in June 2016, about a year and a half later. And then for example, the bottom in 2018 was around December 2018, and we saw the halving about 16 months later in no, April in, in May 2020. Okay, so actually 18 months on both occasions between the bottom and the halving, and we can assume it's going to be a very similar thing this time time we can assume the bottom's going to be in q4 sometime and the halving will be in around may 2024 maybe june 2024 i don't know exactly when it will be somewhere around there it's hard to say but essentially if we make the bottom lines red so this is where the bottom is and the pink line is where the halving is we can see that bitcoin doesn't really move too far up from the bottom to the halving in that 18 month period it moves up a bit like it moves up look let's say you know, 200, 300%, so a 3x in 2015 uh, to 2016. And then of course, uh, around a 160% in 2018 to 2020. What you'll notice is that percentage is going down over time because of diminishing returns. This time we can probably expect like 100%, right? So a 2x, you know, historically, let's just say, let's just give it the benefit of the doubt. Say a 3x in, in 18 months, right? 3x from the bottom to the halving, roughly, I don't know, maybe 2x from the bottom to the halving in 18 months. It's good, but it's not great, right? Uh, you know, especially cryptocurrency, very volatile market. And so you would assume that, hey, okay, well, You'd think, okay, well, if Bitcoin moves up two to three X from the bottom to the halving, surely if I buy altcoins, you know, if you buy altcoins, they'll move up five to 10 X from the bottom to the halving. And that logic would make sense in a bull market. However, that is simply not the case. And this leads me to my first point. It's two major points. This is my first point. The gain you're getting on altcoins in general, you might have some exceptions, but the gain you're getting in general on altcoins from the bottom to the halving is actually terrible right? It's bad. It's actually worse than Bitcoin. Why is that? Because Bitcoin dominance during this entire time is rising as people flock out of altcoins into Bitcoin. No one wants to touch altcoins during the bear market. People forget this. We have the evidence to back it up. Let's look at the total two, uh, the total two index. This is the uh, total market cap of, big, of uh, cryptocurrency minus Bitcoins. So this is only altcoins, right? We can see that the Bitcoin bottom happened here in, where is it? January, 2015. And we can see, as we said, the halving happened in May 2016. And you can see we only moved up on the old coin market cap around 122% in that period. Now you'll see that Bitcoin moved up, right? Bitcoin moved up 300%. So Bitcoin went up more than altcoins. That's indicative of the fact that no one wants to touch altcoins during the bottom to the halving. No one wants altcoins because they're dying, right? Same thing in 2018. 2018, uh, the, the bottom was in December. Okay, so the bottom was in December 2018 uh, and the halving was in May 2020. And we could see that once again, right? Once again, altcoins went up less than Bitcoin from the bottom to the halving at around 70%. So not only is it bad to buy the altcoins at the Bitcoin bottom because you're not really getting any gains, it's also worse than buying Bitcoin and more risky, right? Because altcoins die out left, right, and center during the the bear market. You know, ninety percent of them are dead, right? With Bitcoin, for example, Bitcoin's not going to die, and it's also going to go up more than altcoins, right? So that's the first point. The first point is, although it may seem logical on paper from that bull market mentality that hey, oh, if Bitcoin bottoms out, that means Bitcoin's going to go up, and if Bitcoin goes up, altcoins will go up more. Although that seems logical, the data simply doesn't back it up. You know, the the, the, the pure facts of the situation. It's not my opinion. It's the objective reality doesn't back it up. The facts say actually altcoins perform worse than Bitcoin on average, you know, from the bottom to the halving. And Bitcoin's actually the better bet there. Now, that's the first point. So that honestly should be enough. That should be enough. But the second point is actually very compelling as well, right? 
If you buy long-term holds on altcoins at the bottom or near the bottom, instead of at the halving, you are missing out on 18 months, right? 18 months of technological advancements in that industry that you're buying into, in that uh, sector that you're buying into. Say you buy a coin heavily reliant on, uh, you know, decentralized finance, DeFi, right? Uh, you know, you're missing out on 18 months of potential new projects coming up that could have better technology than the project that you're holding and you'll still hold on to that project for no reason. And that project will die out in the new bull market because it will fail to get the attention it needs because the new projects will have the attention. Now, this is not something that I'm making up on the spot. You look at any old coin, right, uh, that performed well in 2021, around 80% of them, I'd say, roughly, uh, were new coins. Chainlink, for example, came out in 2020. Polygon came out in 2019. Uh, Solana, 2019. Polkadot, 2020. Avalanche, 2020. Uniswap, 2019. I think 2020, actually. Cosmos, 2019, I think, right? These are all fresh coins. These are just a few of them, right? If we go to, actually, if we go to, uh, for example, uh, you know, we'll just go to CoinMarketCap. We'll scroll down the list of the top 100 coins. You know, these coins are all coming out in, in recently, right? For example, BNB is a fresh coin because Binance only came out in 2019. So 2019 on BNB, XRP is an exception. Cardano is an exception. Uh, 2019 or 2020 on Solana, 2020 Polkadot, uh, Polygon's 2020, uh, Trot, I'm not sure. Avalanche is 2020, Uniswap's 2020. Uh, these two are exception, exceptions here. Cosmos, Chainlink, Nia, uh, uh, Algorand, you know, Flow, VeChain. These are all new coins. They're all brand new. They all came out at or after or near the halving. They weren't around during the bottom on Bitcoin, right? So you are, what you're doing if you're buying old coins at the bottom on Bitcoin, what you're doing is this, right? You're buying heaps of coins that are good now that won't stand up to the competition in a year and a half when they're actually relevant. Because we've looked at the data, the data says old coins don't do, do well from the bottom to the halving. Right? They don't do well. So there's no attention at them. It doesn't matter what you buy here because it's not going to do anything anyway. Even if it's a good coin, it's not going to do anything. Right? When they start performing is the halving. They start performing at the halving. And so ideally, you'd want to be at the halving and you'd want the most clean slate you can possibly get. You want a fresh perspective on all the old coins. So at the halving, just before when they're about to explode, you can have an objective analysis of all the old coins in a sector and choose the fresh coins with promising technology and fresh funding for marketing. The last thing you want to be doing is choosing old coins that have no more drive in the team left, no more goals to complete. They've already completed their romats and they're just sitting there, right? Here's an important thing. Good tech does not equal good price action. What equals good price action, especially in cryptocurrency in a high, short attention span space, good marketing. That's all you need, good marketing. Tech doesn't even matter, right? You know, and you guys will stand testament to this. 2021, you buy old coins. How many of those old coins do you actually understand? Do you actually understand them or do you just kind of understand them? You know what they do kind of, but you don't really know what they are, what they, you know, you don't, you don't know where they're based, what their team is. You don't actually know what they are. People don't care about fundamentals. They care about how well you can market your coin. And if you're a new project, you've just come into the market, it's the halving, it's just before the bull run. Your entire team is enthusiastic. They're ready for the bull market. They're working hard every day. You can't keep that up over an eight year period of time for two bear markets where the coins are just dying, right? You need a fresh team, you need a fresh product, you need fresh marketing. That's why they perform well. It's nothing to do with tech, right? And even if it was, even if it was, in the 18 months that you're wasting by buying at the bottom to the halving, right? There's coins coming out with fresh and better tech. Right, so those are my two points. The first point is altcoins don't perform well during the bottom and the halving anyway. In fact, they perform worse than Bitcoin, so buying them is extremely high risk for no reward. And then secondly, you're missing out on 18 months of technolo technological advancements from the space, and you're missing out on projects that would be better investments as per better marketing. That is the reasons why I would never buy altcoins at the uh, bottom. I would only buy long-term hold altcoins at the halving, if that, because I'm a trader. I don't really like buying long-term altcoins at, at all, to be honest. But that's the video, guys. Uh, check out a few things at the end here. If you're interested in becoming a VIP member with the Wolves of Crypto YouTube channel, you can go to my YouTube homepage and you can click on the join button. This will open up a tab that shows you all the perks you get for becoming a VIP. I'll quickly go through them now. There's four trading setups per week in spot and short positions, which is the main thing that people join for. Additionally, you've got prioritized reply to comments, meaning I will prioritize replying to your comments over people who are uh, the free subscribers, the free channel members, because obviously as the channel grows, there's going to be more and more comments. I'm not going to be able to get back to all of them. And so the VIP members, I will 
I'll prioritize getting back to first. We've got a two hour lecture on market psychology, which many people have said to me is the most valuable video I have made. And then we've also got exclusive Telegram group access where you gain access to a Telegram group in which VIP members share charts and discuss trading strategies and ideas and the signals that I post into the VIP group as well. All of that is just 40 AUD a month, which works out to be around 28 USD a month. If you're looking for an exchange to use for cryptocurrency trading and you're sick of your current exchange, or you're just looking for a better exchange, I'd highly recommend you sign up to the BitGet exchange. There's many reasons for that. The first reason being it's non-KYC, which means it lines up with the fundamental values of cryptocurrency, decentralization on your end, which is perfect. It's also got five times lower fees than Binance, which is insanely cheap, which means you'll be saving a massive amount of money by tra uh, trading on this exchange, which of course is one of your main intentions. On top of that, so it's half the, it's, it's five times less fees than Binance. Finance, it's decentralized. And on top of that, not your keys, not your crypto. That's not really a massive problem with this exchange because they've got a protection fund, which they've dedicated 6,000 Bitcoin and over a hundred million US dollars into that protection fund in order to secure the funds of the users. Meaning if something happens on the exchange and you lose your funds, it's not guaranteed, but there's a very good chance that you'll be able to recover those funds through use of the exchange's protection fund. And the last thing as well is if you sign up using my referral link, which by the way would support the channel, would highly recommend you do that, uh, which you can find in the description below. If you sign up using my referral link, you can gain access to a reward center as well and gain access to over 4,000 USD in rewards by completing various tasks. So lastly, I'll just say it again, please sign up using my referral link. It takes five minutes and it helps out the channel a lot. Thanks guys. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to the Crypto Academy. This is a course developed by myself and MegaWare Crypto. We're teaching people how to trade. Become a trader, a 10 unit course is like the title, a 10 unit course that teaches people how to become traders. We teach people how to analyze charts. We teach people how to take profitable trades, how to master TA, whatever it may be. You can go on the website and you can read a bit about this, but ultimately I'll give you a quick rundown. 10, 10 units, starting from fundamental cryptocurrency concepts, going through to technical analysis, going through to market patterns, indicators, candlestick formations, profitable mindsets and psychology, and then finally how to find trades. We've got about 450 slides, 80 videos, eight worksheets, and a trading diary, which means we're targeting all of the core uh, psychological groups of how to learn things, right? We've got visual learners, we've got verbal learners, we've got people who learn using practical skills like practice. You know, we've got many different things there. We're targeting all those groups. We've also done an extensive market analysis on what TA courses are currently available. And we can tell you right now, for the price you're paying for this course, and in general, this is the most extensive course you will find that finds all of the information relevant to teach you how to trade, gives you lifetime access after a one-time payment. So if you're interested in finding out more about the course, go ahead and email cryptoacademycourses at gmail.com and we'll get back to you with all the relevant information. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.